Since Ukraine announced that they will continue the production of their best tank, the BM Uplod, there is a good opportunity to compare it with the best Russian tank still in active service, the T-90M. Let's start by discussing firepower. The BM Uplod is equipped with a main gun with a caliber of 125 mm, which is actually a variant of the Soviet A-46M gun. Additionally, this tank also has a coaxial machine gun of 7.62 mm and a remote-operated heavy machine gun of 12.5 mm. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on other interesting video updates. The T-90M is also equipped with a main gun of 125 mm, the T-90A, as well as a coaxial machine gun of 7.62 mm and a remote-operated heavy machine gun of 12.5 mm. However, there is one disadvantage of the BM Uplod compared to the T-90M, which is that there is no evidence to suggest that Ukraine has given this tank the capability to load longer projectiles. Even if they did, Ukraine and the countries currently supporting it do not produce longer APF-SDS projectiles like Russia does. Both of them have fairly good fire control systems. The BM Uplod has access to thermal imaging for the gunner and commander to aim the main gun. However, there are some differences in opinion about the type of thermal imaging used. Meanwhile, the T-90M also has thermal imaging for the gunner and commander, though it is more advanced compared to what is used by Ukraine. Both have automatic target tracking systems, with an advantage for the T-90M, which has a more advanced automatic target tracking system. When discussing the tank commander, there are some differences between the BM Uplo-D and the T-90M. The T-90M has a cupola with a 360-degree periscope, including in the front. The BM Uplod takes a simpler approach. The T-90M has an advantage in terms of visibility. Regarding Explosive Reactive Armor, ERA coverage, both have their own advantages and disadvantages. The BM Uplod has good ERA coverage in the front, including the gun mantlet and the upper front plate. However, some images may not show full coverage. Meanwhile, the T-90M has good ERA coverage all over the turret, but the upper front plate is not fully lined with ERA. They also have laser warning systems to alert the crew when they are targeted by a laser rangefinder or laser-guided missiles. Furthermore, they both have fire prevention measures by moving the ammunition from the carousel at the bottom of the tank to the back of the turret. However, both tanks still use carousel systems to load ammunition. The BM Uplod uses the vulnerable Type T-64 outloader system while the T-90M uses the safer Type T-72 outloader system. In terms of mobility, the T-90M has an advantage with its V-92 engine, which produces more torque than the BM Uplod's engine. This means the T-90M will be faster in acceleration. Additionally, the T-90M has much better reverse capability than the BM Uplod, with a maximum reverse speed of up to 31 km per hour, thanks to a reverse gear shifting system. Meanwhile, the BM Uplod maintains a very slow reverse speed, around 4 km per hour. This is a significant disadvantage in combat situations. Both have several technical differences, but they also have their own advantages and disadvantages. However, their availability might be a determining factor. 
Ukraine will resume BM upload production, but it's unclear where and how production will take place. Meanwhile, T-90M production has increased since the start of the war, although the exact number is unknown. What is certain is that the T-90M has been produced in greater numbers than the BM upload currently existing in Ukraine. Therefore, availability will be an important consideration. Regardless of technical differences and availability, both of these tanks are strong competitors and have their own strengths and weaknesses. An accurate comparison can only be made after further data is available. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss military video updates and other interesting technological developments.